All right, everybody, new build. Uh, we are going to rock this one out and try to make it quick. We have almost all the parts, minus a couple things. There's a couple things we need. And um, yeah, it's gonna be fun. Here it is, you guys saw it a little while ago. This is my 99 Easy Go. And we have a 22 horsepower motor going in it. Full swap kit, lift kit. Uh, we have a whole bunch of stuff going on it. So we're gonna paint it. It's gonna be a new updated roof uh, with some custom racketry that Carlton's gonna make. And it's gonna be pretty cool. Get rid of those lights and clean it up, make it look really nice. Pretty excited and let's get to it. All right, first couple things we want to do is completely tear this thing down. So we are going to go all the way down to the frame, start doing some cleaning. And there's some other stuff that we need too. I think there's a couple bent tie rods, just some random stuff that we need to write a list down and start ordering stuff. We need one of these. www.skittiestgarage.com. Nice koozie, screenshot it. So that's what we're going to do. Tear it down and uh, get going on it. Angle kit, yeah. That side looks bent. If you put that straight, does that not look bent to you? Uh, it's just a little toe out. <laughs> so getting it all torn down and getting it pretty good. Um, kind of bummed that all these holes are here for these lights that they put in and that nasty switch they put in. Because we're gonna have to figure out a way to fill those. Mr. Fiberglass Man maybe in Bondo. Do we get to build an exhaust for this? Uh, it comes, the kit came with an exhaust, but we can, C. we need a C because the only issue that I have is, uh, I'm a golfer, so you are not, and I would like to take it to the golf course, Dude. which means it needs to be a little bit quieter. Electric cut off on the muffler for like an open, like a dump. Oh, dump. So yes. Like at the golf cart or at the golf course. Yep. You just flip it on. It'll be quiet. And yep. Over mobbing around you could open her up the only my only other thought was a v-band oh, one inch v-band pretty sure it's one inch exhaust buzz it off <laughs> yeah, buzz it off put the badass one on all right it's gonna be fun let's finish it up Okay, so Tori is out on father duty, daddy duty. He had to go help with the old kid. So I pulled off the rest of the front end. But yeah, we're almost all the way stripped down. Uh, and I'm going to wait until he gets back so we can do the rest together. Check this out. JDRF Seattle Guild Invitational Golf Tournament. Glendale Country Club, September 8th, 2014. So we know it was actually used as a golf cart at one point in time. Don't know what happened after it, but uh, uh yeah, yeah, it turned into an off-road vehicle. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. I really think it needs a full roll cage though. <laughs> 
I don't think we're gonna get that crazy. You on any vacation anytime soon? <laughs> yeah. You think um, we can get this motor to run? Yeah. All right, what else you got? Uh, so lower panel. This panel's off. We just need to take the steering wheel off to get it off of there. Are we pulling the motor tonight? Tomorrow? I mean, go as far as we want tonight, as far as we can. Yeah. Might as well, right? Good morning, Toast. Good morning. You ready to get started? Alrighty. Damn it, I said it. We're getting started on the golf cart again. We stopped last night because it started to get dark. We decided we'd kick back up in the morning. We have a little bit of time before Tori has to head out. He's gone right now. He's shipping out some Skidius garage orders. And I'm going to get started on a few small things. Um, basically, we're going to try and get more stuff torn down before we start pressure washing the actual chassis. Okay, going to get started on that. So he just got the, oh, the one step on the wiring. He just got the bottom plate off, and I think the last couple bolts. I was gonna have you hold the camera and, and me try it, but are you gonna try it? Rock here. Oh baby, I think you go one hand there, and then yeah, lift with your back, not your knees. I think oh, that's yes. how it works. Oh, that one bolt. Bracket here. Yeah, it's got it. Can you tilt everything back? Gotcha. Oh baby. Nice, dude. Come on, flex on him. No. Just a little bit, come on. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Looks great. Looks great. We're almost done. Almost done. Almost done. We're just going to push it around. <laughs> Hey, what do we got there in your hand? Nut yeah. stuck. Yeah. Hate when that happens. Hate it when you get a nut stuck. It's so grimy that it's just getting stuck in there. I think we're just gonna leave it in, pressure wash, and then try to take it out because we gotta replace a bushing and paint it anyways. So. See if this is the right size. Do you have the wrong size on there? Weird. <laughs> Fits a little bit better. Maybe uh, buddy just put a 14 on there when it's supposed to be standard. What? Nothing. No, I didn't say anything. I said, oh, I think we got the right size now. Oh, yeah. Still stuck. <laughs> God damn it, dude. Do we have eight, nine, 16 long sockets? Hey, we're almost about to pressure wash it. We'll see.
whole pressure wash, man, that thing was so nasty. Yeah, so one thing we noticed, look at the rear leaf springs. We get one of those, whoop. So a couple new rear leaf springs, but that's fine. Cool. All right. It's ready for some paint. Yep. So that concludes the first video. Uh, we're gonna try to cramp two days of stuff in one quick video for you guys. Try to make these a little bit quicker, smaller videos for you to watch. Hopefully uh, this build goes pretty quick because we want to get started on something else. Yep. What's next? Paint. Paint?